Located in the Christian quarter of the old city in Jerusalem, this church has been attracting pilgrims from all over the world since the 4th century. Five of the 14 stations of the cross are in this church. It marks the spot where Jesus was crucified, buried, and resurrected. This is the holiest site in Christianity. This is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. At the time Jesus was crucified, Golgotha was a quarry. By 70 AD, Jerusalem was sacked by the Romans and was reduced to ruins. Emperor Hadrian rebuilt Jerusalem as a new city named Aelia Capitolina. In 135 AD, he ordered to fill in Golgotha to create a flat foundation for a new temple dedicated to Venus and Jupiter. Fast forwarding to 312 AD, Emperor Constantine adopted Christianity after his victory in the Battle of the Milvian Bridge. The following year, Constantine signed the Edict of Milan that ended Christian persecution. It was Constantine who ordered the demolition of the Roman temple. It was during the demolition of the temple, the crucifixion site and the tomb of Jesus were uncovered. Also around this time, Helena, the mother of Emperor Constantine, is said to have uncovered the true cross, which is believed to be the very cross Jesus was crucified on. The first church of the Holy Sepulchre was consecrated on the 13th of September, 335 AD. It was much larger than what is here today. In 614 AD, the church was destroyed by the invading Persian Sasanian Empire. The church was rebuilt but was destroyed again by the Fatimid Caliph Al-Hakim bi Amrallah on the 18th of October, 1009. The church was rebuilt yet again during the Byzantine period. Then in 1149, after the Crusaders conquered Jerusalem, they renovated and expanded the church to the one we see today. The Via Dolorosa, also known as the Grief Way or the Way of Suffering, marks the Stations of the Cross. Each station represents an event starting from the condemnation of Jesus Christ, the painful route he took while holding the cross, and ending with his crucifixion and burial. The last five stations of the cross are at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The tenth station of the cross is just outside the church. Here, it is believed that Jesus was stripped of his garments. That is the immovable ladder that has been there since about 1757. It represents the status quo between the various denominations worshipping at this church. Being one of the holiest sites in Christianity, various denominations want access and control of it. Sometimes this can get ugly. One such scuffle happened as recent as 2008. In order to prevent such incidents, a status quo was decreed by the Ottoman ruler Osman III back in 1757. The status quo defines the ownership and responsibilities of each denomination at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. No changes can be made without the consent of the leaders of all denominations.
This Catholic chapel is the Levin Station, where it is believed that Jesus was nailed to the cross. The statue of Mary separates the 11th and 12th station of the cross. This Greek Orthodox chapel marks the 12th station where Jesus was crucified. The disc here marks the spot where the cross of Jesus stood. The rock of Golgotha can be seen under protective glass. The cracks you see here is believed to have been caused by the earthquake that occurred when Jesus died. This is the stone of anointing where the body of Jesus was prepared for burial. Some believe that this is the 13th station of the cross. Others argue that the 13th station is where Jesus is taken down from the cross. The stone of anointing is a recent addition, only being added in the 1810 reconstruction of the church. The 14th station of the cross is where the body of Jesus is placed in a tomb. The tomb was hewn out of a rock and it was from here he was resurrected three days later. The rotunda was built over and around the tomb. At the center of the rotunda is the edicule. Edicule means small house and this structure is said to enclose the tomb of Jesus Christ. Inside, we have two rooms. The first is the chapel of the angel, and the second is the tomb itself. Could this really be the place where Jesus Christ was buried? Well, in 2016, the edicule was renovated as it was in danger of collapse. Underneath the marble slab where pilgrims place their candles, they found a bed of rock engraved with a cross that is cemented to another rocky bed below. After analysis in the lab, it was found that the cement dated back to 300 AD. This is in line with the story about the construction of this church. The church attracts pilgrims from all over the world. If you want to avoid the crowd, the best time to visit the church would be early in the morning. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please let me know by hitting the like button and by dropping a line in the comment section. If you enjoy documentaries in general, do consider subscribing. Well, until my next video, stay safe and I'll see you soon.